Former pupils and teachers have been meeting with today's school pupils as they celebrate 60 years of service children's education. The British Families Education Service, as it was first known, started teaching just a handful of pupils. And some of them have been back to Germany at a big birthday bash. Martha Fairley has been to Normandy Barracks in Senelaga to take a look through the history books. Well, it was in 1946, six decades ago, that the cabinet first decided that British servicemen who were posted to Germany could bring their families and their children with them. And that essentially was when the British Forces Education Service was born. Here in Senlaga, there's a massive exhibition documenting 60 years of forces school life. Things were very different in the start, of course. There were berets, for example, to wear with school uniforms. And if you come over here, there's school log books. In 1947, in Bad Zweischenen School, September the 8th, there was a plague of flies in the school. Well, some things don't change. For example, if you take a look at the BFES Gazette, they were discussing school meals in Germany. Well, nothing's really changed there. And take a look at some of this other memorabilia. This was taken from the Prince Rupert ship, and it's why we have Prince Rupert School in Germany. Well, joining me now is Sue Adams. Now, Sue, you've been a, a pupil and a teacher at the Forces Schools over the years. Coming back and seeing this exhibition, it must bring back a lot of memories. Uh, how different were Forces Schools when you first encountered them? Well, I was in Forces Schools a long time ago. Um, in, uh, I attended the Royal Naval School, Vidala, and Talhandik in Malta, sort of, um, well, more years ago than I care to remember. And, yeah, of course they were different then because the curriculum was different, the styles of teaching were different. So coming back today and looking at the you know, lovely use of technology and uh, the broad spectrum of what the children are studying within the curriculum um, is very exciting to see. Well, as you can see, it's incredibly busy here today. We've got 300 pupils from schools across Germany, and they're holding a special celebration of their own. They're putting on a concert with music, dance, drama, just to showcase some of their talents. With me are two of today's pupils from King's School in Gütersloh. Uh, first of all, Ross, how important to you was it to be able to come out to Germany and go to a Forster school rather than a German one? I thought it was quite, it was really helpful to be able to uh, slide straight into a British school um, within SCE as opposed to going into the German net and being thrown in at the deep end, if you like, you know, not being able to speak German and a different curriculum. Sammy Joe, how do SCE schools compare with uh, when you're in the UK? Well, when you first start um, a school in England, everyone, like, you sort of move in and everyone's kind of like, don't want to really know you, they're reserved and... But when you come to an SE or school, everyone opens your welcome arms because there's so many people in your position. Like everyone knows what you're going through and how, like, what it was like to start a new school, especially abroad. Well, today SCE has 43 schools worldwide and teaches 12,000 pupils in locations ranging from Belgium to Belize, from Cyprus to the Falkland Islands. With me is David Wadsworth, who's the chief executive of SCE. David, how significant is it that we are celebrating 60 years of forces education? Oh, it's very. Uh, I suppose 60 years ago was a brave decision for, I suppose, the then Foreign Office uh, to say that families could accompany their servicemen overseas after the war. Um, 60 years is a long time. Of course, this organisation was actually quite a bit bigger in, in the 50s and 60s. Uh, but what we're celebrating is Germany. As you said, we are now a worldwide organisation anyhow. But, but here in Germany, I mean, it's fantastic because today gives us a chance to bring schools together. Uh, and we don't often do it. In fact, we very rarely do it because of the geographical spread. You know, Germany is a vast country. Uh, the spread of the schools in Germany is the equivalent of trying to run a local education authority that stretches from London to Edinburgh. Uh, but our youngsters get the opportunities that, that you, know, you would not have in the UK, both to experience a foreign country and to learn a foreign language. It's good. It's good. Thank you, David. Well, with us as well is Catherine Forsyth, who's the Director of Education. Catherine, with so many changes going on in the UK in education, how is SCE set up for the future? I think we're exceptionally well placed. If we look at the work that's going on in, in all our schools, there is significant development going on in terms of the 21st century curriculum, whereby youngsters could do some work in schools, but also work with the, the army education centres and develop some aspects of vocational work um, to actually ensure that they've got equal opportunities in terms of expectations for 14 to 19 year olds. Catherine and David, thank you very much. It sounds like there's a lot to look ahead to. The celebrations continue here in Senlaga, but for now it's back to the studio.